Okay, so uh, I seem to have enough trackers. Some of these are a little, um, a little slidey with the flexing of my face and whatnot, but I think we're going to try and solve this anyway. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do just one more to give myself a little more three-dimensional coverage. Okay. Oh, and, and it goes bananas right about there. So awesome. You know what, I'm gonna turn it back on and get the last three frames. So, so good. So here's, we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna do one more thing first. Oh, here we go, sensor size, it's right at the top. So it's a 22 millimeter sensor. So going back into Synthize, um, here, let me move this off screen and going back into Synthize, I say uh, shot, edit shot. By the way, I don't know why under the edit menu, edit shot isn't under edit, it's under shot. And then there's edit shot, so that's a little confusing. But uh, be all that as it may, image aspect, da, 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 da. oh, um, so I said that was a 22 millimeter sensor, right? Uh, you can switch this to millimeters and say backplate is going to be 22 millimeters by 11.88. That's... Uh, that's what Black Magic is telling me. 22 by 11.88. So, no anamorphic squeeze, none of that. And then from here, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to go to the solver panel and we're going to tell it that this camera is disabled. Because we're not doing a camera solve, we're going to do an object solve. And so we're going to take all of these trackers here. I hit the shift A button to select all of the trackers throughout all their lifetimes. And I'm going to say shot, uh, add moving object. And then I'm gonna go back to the camera, shift A again, sorry, I should have made the moving object first. And then I'm going to, under the, uh, I believe the coordinate panel, is that right? I'm gonna assign these 28 trackers to object one. I don't wanna clone the trackers. I wanna just move them. So I'm gonna hit no to that. I'm gonna go shot, object one, and now all of my trackers are now assigned to object one. So, we're gonna to go to the solver panel. I'm gonna say automatic, undirected, and I'm just gonna hit go. And I'm gonna get a point cloud, which looks roughly face-shaped. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Yeah, look at that. So, yeah, that, that solution looks pretty good. Now you gotta remember, these trackers, these points that were solved here, that uh, they're all for different stages of my face flexing. So they're gonna be very close to one another. You have to be careful if you do any shot cleanup and try and consolidate trackers. Like maybe you might go to the shot, to, I'm sorry, the track cleanup trackers and clean up everything. And you might go to, uh, oh, where is it? Um, coalesce nearby trackers and examine. Oh, look, there are none. Sometimes it'll capture things like that. You have to be careful, so. But that, that's a pretty good, pretty good solve, I'd say. Uh, I'm gonna stop the recording again, and uh, I'm gonna bring in some geometry and line it up. So there you go. This, uh, let's go to the 3D panel and say, 
layout uh, quad and yeah this this looks like a pretty good track this looks like it's gonna work so uh, there you go I'm gonna get some geometry in here and I'm gonna stop the recording now